See if I can make it through this without crying. <laughs> I'm not sure when it happened, but there was a moment, like a flash of lightning where my eyes were opened. A glorious and beautiful incandescence. I saw the person you, Alana, truly are. Not some fragmented version, but a you that is whole. In that instant, in that flash of eye-opening light, I saw the you that is passionate and driven and fearless and strong and compassionate and loving and understanding. I saw the you that could see me. It is this moment where I fell in love with you and continue to fall in love with you each day. Alana, I promise to always love you, to be your companion and your friend, to be your partner in parenthood, to be your ally and your toughest critic, to be your loving partner through all, forever. Okay. Alex. I choose you to be my husband, my partner in parenthood, and the one I want to share my life with, although this is nothing new, as I chose you long ago to be the one that I want to build a life with. I never thought that I'd be meeting the man I was going to marry when I started at a part-time job at a pharmacy nine years ago. I remember taking our first lunch break together and hearing all about the first tattoo you were so excited to get. And here we are now, years later, with barely any blank space left on your body. Over this time, our love for each other has grown and has brought us our beautiful son. I couldn't imagine living this life with anyone but you. Today marks the day you officially become my husband and I couldn't be happier. I promise to love you generously and unconditionally. I promise to love you for who you are now and who you grow to be, even if that means growing out your hair. I promise to support you in both the happiest times of your life and the saddest, and to always be there when you need me the most. Loving you is the best thing that has ever happened to me, and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. I've gotten to see Alex in dad to a wild toddler mode and supportive fiance mode that I can 100% see why Alana admires him so much. He really is a wonderful partner. I think it's through those small mundane moments where you can see how in tune they are with each other. Something as simple as Alex leaving cups of water on the her kitchen counter for her to have when she gets home and getting up with the baby at 5 a.m. so she could sleep a little longer. You know, grand gestures are great on occasion, but it's those little moments that define the relationship and that is very apparent with Olena and Alex. Everyone can see that you bring out great things in each other and you are so lucky to have found that comfort and love in one another. I can tell you that where their relationship is now speaks volumes for how they have grown together over the years and become amazing people and parents that they are today. Everett is insanely lucky to have you two. You are amazing, patient parents, and you have managed to form the most beautiful family. As someone who's been welcomed into his circle of friends, I can attest to the fact that Alex is committed to the people and activities he values. And that's why I know he will be a good husband to you, Elena. He puts all that he is into that which he truly cares about. And above all, that's the both of you. He cares about his family, he cares about his friends, and he cares about his work. He has found a wonderful match in Alana, and together, they have made a beautiful family. So today, we witness and celebrate the commitment to Al that Alex and Alana have made to one another. So let's raise our glasses. You showed up, Alana, and it was amazing. Okay, you took Alex and you just calmed him right down. Even though he still goes to the beat of his own drum, you actually, you're setting the rhythm for him. This is a great couple. And I totally welcome you guys, Alana, you and your family. It was nice to meet you. 
All I could say is from the bottom of my heart and Teresa's heart is that I think this is a really good thing. And you know, let's have a round of applause for the couple. The wife and I are 49 days short of our 61st anniversary. 64. So I, I am offering this new couple a challenge that when you start approaching your 64th anniversary, give me a text and I'll be waiting for you. Thank you. I've had the pleasure of watching you grow from the bright-eyed preteen through the trials of the awkward teens, the studious university student, a mother, and now a beautiful bride. One final piece of advice. Happiness is not a destination, it's the spirit of the journey. Baby, I'm thriving. Oh, yeah. I'm living my best life. I wake up with the sunrise. It does not look Best